Hey y'all, before we get started here, this video is all over the place, taking place over multiple days. Enjoy. I was uh, debating whether to start this video today and show you what happened last night or just let you know it's the next day. Major, major flooding. Either way, it is the next day. So I think first what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at what went on last night and then uh, we'll bring you up to speed today as to how things look today. Not very good. To start indoors today. Yeah, that's happening. So I'm not sure how well you can see that. I was going to be doing a will it run today, but it uh, would appear the water's up over the curb and coming in the front yard. That's not good. Uh, yeah, it's getting a little out of hand. It would appear the drainage must be plugged up out there, which means I get to go out there and unplug it. All right, here's what we have. The problem is not that the uh, sewers were plugged up. I just cleaned those out as you saw. It's that they're full. All the way down to the corner. And this way here and up my driveway. This is my side yard over here, which is not looking good at all. Which means now, I'm about to go in the basement and see what's going on there. I've been checking down there. The pump's running. But it is what it is. Today's video was supposed to be a will it run on a generator. But I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to give you guys all a bit of an update. Sorry about the orange glow here. So here's what's going on. We, we learned our lessons from past floods. So we keep everything in totes. Everything's also on racks off the floor. So, we're not worried about anything getting wet. Anything that of importance is in a tote and, a, and or off the floor. We were doing okay until the sewers decided they didn't want to suck no more. Hey, when that happens. And then the water just backed up in people's yards. I guess there's flooding all over town. But, got the fan going, as you can hear going in the background. Like I said, it's uh, drying out the floor. All part of it. My next house is going to be on a hill and no basement. Basements are useless. I have no idea why people have them. I know. You're all going to say, well, what about tornadoes? You can hide in the basement. You have to make shelters for them. Anyway, we got to keep plugging away here because it's supposed to rain again in about three and a half, four hours. So, got to stay ahead of it. All right, we got things drying up downstairs. We're heading over to the in laws. I think they got a little bit of water as well. If you look outside right now, you wouldn't know that we even had any rain. Look at this bright, nice sunny day. Don't take your seat belts off just yet. It's supposed to rain by 8 o'clock, so... I don't know. I'm just trying to stay ahead of it. Anyway, we're heading across town. Oh, by the way, a couple... Uh, a couple. A lot of businesses uptown had apparently uh, closed because they got water in their building, so... Uh, like I said before, the sewers just couldn't keep up and uh, flooded everything. Anyway, we're going to go check and make sure they're all right, and then we're going to head back home. we got still a little bit of flooding going on. Down there as well. The in-laws are good. I see some uh, people down there pumping water out to the street. Trying to get their basements cleaned out. Yeah, all kinds of people doing that right now. It dumped and it dumped hard as you can see. I'm going to give you all a bit of an update. It's probably around 7 o'clock right now. Few hours after that major major dumping we got 
and as you saw, it looked like you know nothing ever happened. The sun's out, warmed up. There's the sky we're looking at right now. Right over there. Now they were talking of another system coming through at about 7:30 o'clock. Gonna dump a little bit more rain. Not as bad as the first time, but if you look up here. Those clouds are moving quick. Anyway, we're hoping the rain's done, so that's what we're gonna go with. All right, we're pushing about 8.15. Don't adjust your color. Uh, this kinda is what it is. Look at that nasty one over there. Just stay over there, you're not welcome here. Look too bad that way. Hopefully the rain holds off. All right, guys, welcome back. We're now, uh, I guess, we're pushing just about midnight from the looks of things. We're gonna head over to Jen's studio, see what's going on there, make sure there's no real damage. Uh, it stopped raining, thank God. But uh, supposed to be a little bit more coming, but. You deal with it and move on. You can't just throw your hands up. It is what it is. You uh, gotta dig and hopefully get ahead of it. But quite the lightning storm going on. But we're gonna head up there right now, and uh, I'm sure the rest of the town's flooded too. But, but we'll go have a look. Fair bit of water there. Good thing is there wasn't a lot of wind. This intersection still flooded out a bit. I'm not going to bring the camera in guys, I'll just go in and I'll let you know what's going on in a second. Well, good news at the studio, not a drop of water on the floor, nothing leaked, nothing flooded. One less headache I got to deal with, so I think we're going to head back home, keep ahead of the water there and hope for the best. Oh wait, what a night that was, Jesus Murphy. That wind blew through here, the rain came through. Uh, there's some damage, like you guys couldn't see anything last night. I could barely see anything myself, but it's the next morning, which uh, that's kind of why I stopped filming. You couldn't see anything. But uh, our generator, love it. Absolutely love it. This is the third time it saved us. And, uh, you know, kept the water at bay. I know some people weren't as lucky as we are. Uh, there's some people worse off. There's some damage here in town. 
I right, should see a lot of snipe, but the camera wasn't picking it up very good. Got some pictures from Farmer Paul. He's got more water and he knows what to do with. We might end up having to go for a slip out there. See what's going on. Anyway, I'm going to go for a ride around town, find some coffee, and uh, hope for the best. Now you can see these last night. We've got some branches on our left here. Heading towards uptown, downtown, middle of town. Looks like uh, we got some power up there. That's a good thing. to go over the 401 here we're gonna see if our favorite place the flying J is open for coffee looks like it's open we're going in all right big shout out to flying J open for fuel and coffee this morning which is fantastic uh, now i got five coffees i gotta go deliver those and we'll start our day gotta look at the bright side i'm still looking Pretty sure I've been on the same clothes for the past two days. Oh, it is what it is. We made it out okay thanks to not the tomato plant, benchmark generator. Saved our bacon yet. Third time now. Best thousand dollars ever spent. Uh, we made it out okay. We had a little bit of water in the basement. Not a big deal. I came up through the sump pump so. The sewer at the street was full, and it had nowhere to go, so it just came to us and everybody else in the neighborhood. You could hear all generators running all night, but uh, we did okay. No damage, a little bit of water, nothing big. Uh, some people in Lamington, Harrow, Windsor area, LaSalle, Amherstburg, uh, they got hit pretty hard. So I think I'm going to leave this video here. It's not the most upbeat. Upbeat. Still can't talk, folks. It's not the most upbeat video, but it's kind of what's going on in our little world here in our small town. And uh, that's going to be it. I'm going to leave you some of the sights and sounds. Uh... Boy, editing this again, i got to break in one more time. Man, what a bummer. Listen to my voice, listen to whatever. It's, it's not that bad. We did okay. We did good. Uh, everything worked like it planned. And why? Because we were prepared. That's why. Why do you sound so somber? You know what it is? I haven't slept in two days. That's what it is.